Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Brianna here. Today, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be doing a eyeshadow palette collection. Not just eyeshadow palettes, but like pigments or like glitters, you know? If you want to see my eyeshadow palette collection, go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> So yeah, the Morphe 35O was my first palette. My second palette is the 35T by Morphe. I hardly use it. I use this shade a lot. Oh. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to my brother for giving this to me as a gift. Appreciate you. So next is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom Amazonian Clay Palette. Took it out of the packaging. Here's the palette itself. Like you could tell, I use this one a lot and this one. So next would be, it's kind of scratched off. It's like not really name brand palette. It's called HC19, I believe. And they're just like shimmer shades. Um, I've used this one and this one a couple times. Here's this one. Next we have Violet Voss and Laura Lee palette. It's so pretty. Um, in the front, it's just Laura Lee, her little signature thing. And in the back, it's just the actual palette. It's really pretty. It has a little holographic thing. And in the back, just Laura Lee. Tickle pink so, so much. Um, other than that, oh, I've also used Shuga, um a lot. And Basic, Laura Lee. Overall, it's just a beautiful palette, and it comes with a, a good size mirror. Sorry, it's dirty. So, yeah, there's that one. Next, we have a compulsive buy. I literally just bought it because it was on sale. I'm not proud of it, but you know, it's the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette. His very first palette ever. You open it up, and it's Beauty Killer in this baby pink, the signature Jeffree Star star. And then the shades. Not gonna lie, I've never ever used this palette. This one I've always wanted to use, there's just no need for it. It's like black matte with sparkle in it. And it's just and that's really, really pretty. Like I really like it. But yeah, that's a Jeffree Star palette. Next we have the modern renaissance palette i always find myself reaching for this palette like i feel like i can do any look with this palette it's a little crusty and dirty at the moment but you can work through it and then it comes with the mirror and then the shades what i'm wearing on my eyes right now is these two mixed in the crease this one and this one mixed for the outer v and this one on my inner lid if i could recommend any of these palettes to you i would suggest this one it's my go-to maybe we should do a little swatch should we do a little swatch let's do a swatch of this one i love this color like it's so pretty no this is vermeer and let's just do a swatch of it and it's very very pigmented next we have Morphe 35B that I don't really use color. I would like to. I'm just, I'm a little afraid of it. I've stepped out of my comfort zone twice using this blue and this blue and I got so many compliments on it. Um, but if you want to see a look with this palette um, comment down below. But yeah, that's the 35B. And then I have the BH Cosmetics Carly by Bow palette. So here's the palette. Here it is. Uh, as you can tell, I use this highlighter quite often. Um, it's really, they're all really, let's just do a swatch since we're swatching everything. This is the highlighter I use, which is this one here. And a swatch of it will put it right here. And it's blinding, right? I have used this one just because it looks like this and this is the shade 
And let's just do a comparison. It's a little darker. I'm a sloppy swatcher, I just realized. This is the original, by the way. This is not the deluxe. And last but certainly not least is my tore up favorite palette of all time. It's the Manny MUA and Makeup Geek palette. And so, yes, that's the packaging. And this is the palette itself. <laughs> it has a good size mirror. The palette itself is tore up as well. I always use this shade. And it's just, oh really pretty let's just oh my this is a foiled shadow if you guys didn't know that that shade was called luna it's a really blue green with a red undertone it's beautiful like honestly it's beautiful here's a let's use over here how what and to highlight my brow bone even to use as a highlight you could use this shade, which I believe is called Artemis, which is this shade right here. And we'll put that right next to Insomnia. And it's so pigmented. I think Manny did a great job on this. That's the Makeup Geek and Manny Ami Way. And in the back, it just says Manny Ami Way and each name of each shadow. Those are all the palettes that I have. Oh, I'm lying. I have one more palette. I just bought it. It's the Morphe 25B, which is the bronzed mocha. And I'm thinking of doing a first impressions type of thing with this palette. Next, we're going to dip into my glitters. I have three huge glitters. My favorite has got to be this one. I believe this one's called Hollow Queen. It's on jobybeauty.com. Um, Joby, if you guys don't know who that is, it's Jordan Byers. She's a fellow YouTuber. I'll link down her channel below. This one is just like white with pink flecks in it. Now, I have yet to use any of these. Plan on using them soon. But this one's silver with rainbow holographic flecks in it. And this one's gold with holographic flecks in it. This one's called Mint Mist. This one's called Hollow Queen. I was right. And then this one is called Golden Rain. Okay, now these next ones, they don't have shade names. I have a lot of glitters. It's so much. But they're really pretty. I have used... I don't know if you guys can see, but I've used this silver one. And I've used this gold one. I apply them with my... NYX glitter glue they stick really well and I I love them. okay guys so that's it for my video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching I'll see you guys in my next video